Have you ever wondered how long your body actually takes to turn that big plate of delicious food you eat into, well, you know what. <laughs> Well, you're in for a treat because in this video, we're going to hitch a ride on a small bite of food and follow it through your body like some sort of GI crazed Willy Wonka ride. We'll not only learn exactly what is involved in digestion, but we'll also see how important all the different stages of digestion are. And of course, you'll finally discover how long it takes to digest your food from start to finish. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, I'm registered dietitian Rochelle Godwin, and this might just be one of the most popular questions I get asked. And I think the best place to start is by quickly showing you a short video of how the digestion process works. So as you can see, you chew some food, it then slides down your esophagus. The gastric juices in your stomach get to work further digesting it. It is then released into your small intestine where nutrients are absorbed. Not long after, it is passed onto your large intestine for final breakdown. And finally, it exits your body in the form of a bowel movement. Now, in terms of how long this all takes, well, if you've ever tried to find answers to this question online, you've probably only received rough approximations of transit time. For example, in response to how long it takes to digest food, the world-renowned Mayo Clinic simply states, quote, it takes about six to eight hours for food to pass through your stomach and small intestine, and it takes about 36 hours for food to move through the entire colon. All in all, the whole process takes about two to five days, unquote. Now, while that sort of answer is interesting, it left us wondering, where are the studies to back this up? After all, here at Essential Stacks, we pride ourselves on always teaching you how the gut works and how you can prove your digestive health based on studies. So of course, our research team decided to do some digging for you. And thankfully, we found an amazing study from 2014 that was published in the Journal of Neurogastroenterology and Motility. Finally, an answer based on research. So basically, what happened in the study is researchers used a wireless capsule the patients could swallow after eating a meal. The capsule would then hitch a ride alongside the food and go through the entire digestive system. During this time, it was sending data on exactly how long each stage of digestion took. And here's what the researchers found. As you can see, the normal ranges for transit time were two to five hours in the stomach, two to six hours in the small intestine, and 10 to 59 hours long in the large intestine. Meaning the journey from start to finish was about 10 to 73 hours long. Now to make this a bit easier for you to visualize, our research team put together a table and we also calculated the average transit time of these ranges to give you a clear answer. So as you can see now, food takes a similar amount of time to digest in the stomach and small intestine, with both taking around four hours. By contrast, when food gets to the large intestine, it hangs around for quite a while, taking on average of 34 and a half hours to pass through there. Overall, we can see from the table, food will take about 42 hours or just under two days to be fully digested and turned into a beautiful bowel movement. Now, while this gives us a good idea of normal digestion times, it's worth noting that your digestion can be faster or slower. For example, if you eat protein or fat dominant foods like meat, which contain complex molecules, it might take longer to break down, especially compared to say carbohydrate rich foods like fruit. Digestion speed will also depend of course on how much you eat as well as when you eat it. And then of course, there are other factors that can impact your transit speed, such as metabolism, medication, stress levels, genetics, gender, age, and of course, any underlying GI issues you might have. So now you have the most accurate answer to how long food takes to digest. Let's take a quick look at what your body is actually doing at each stage of digestion. That way you can understand why the transit time of each section differs. And to make this easy for you to understand, I'm going to explain all of this by likening your digestive system to the kitchen of a good restaurant. So as you'll soon see, your mouth is like the kitchen hand, doing the first and simplest line of food prep. Your stomach is like the sous chef, doing all the heavy lifting of the cooking process. Meanwhile, your small intestine, well, that is the head chef, like a mini Gordon Ramsay living inside you. 
and its job is to do the final cooking work and decide what gets sent out to the customer, which in your case is your bloodstream. Finally, the large intestine is a bit like the dishwashing crew, meaning it focuses on doing all the cleanup work. So first up, let's talk about how your body digests food using your mouth. Obviously your teeth, like any good kitchen hand, will work hard to break down the food into smaller and more digestible pieces. But also the act of chewing itself works to smartly release additional saliva into your mouth, which is packed with enzymes that can break down the starches in the food you eat. Even cooler, the mucin in saliva will help make the little bits of food nice and slippery so that they can easily slide down your esophagus and into your stomach. So although this process takes only 10 to 20 seconds, it is vital for making the next stages of digestion easier. Once the food slides down your esophagus, it ends up in your stomach. And quite simply, your stomach's job is to prepare the food so your small intestine can digest it. And to really get the picture into your head, you can imagine your highly acidic stomach, the sous chef, working really hard to cook the food while your small intestine, the head chef, is waiting for it. Now here's the really cool thing about your stomach. Although we don't really feel it, our stomach will basically go into a digestion frenzy the minute food arrives. So while we are all calm and eating away like it's no big deal, inside your stomach, the powerful gastric juices, in particular hydrochloric acid and an enzyme called pepsin, will be busy breaking down your food. And of course, they are also supported by powerful muscle contractions in the wall of your stomach. Once the stomach has finished its work, it will send the food down to your small intestine. And here's what happens in your small intestine. So first of all, the small intestine will coat the food in enzymes, bile, and other digestive juices. Kind of the same way Ramsey would season a dish. This breaks the food down into delicious micronutrients like vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and fatty acids. These are then served up to the hungry diner, which in your case is your bloodstream. And this in turn gives your body the energy it needs to repair and grow. Beautiful. And of course, whatever part of the food your small intestine doesn't want to serve up, it sends straight down to your large intestine. And like the dishwashing crew at a restaurant, the large intestine will begin to clean things up. And we'll do that by drawing out water of the leftover food and returning it to your body, which is really important for the hydration purposes, but also because it helps turn the leftover food into a semi-solid form meaning your poop. And I know for the sake of our analogy, we likened the large intestine to the cleanup crew of a restaurant. But here's the thing, your large intestine actually also does some cooking of its own, thanks to the bacteria that live inside it. And to be fair, it's really like a dishwashing apprentice cook love child and it's got some pretty impressive digestion tricks. So basically, the little bacteria in your large intestine are able to feast on the leftover food, being the parts of food your small intestine couldn't digest, but your bacteria can, such as indigestible carbohydrates. And best of all, when they digest this food for us, they produce additional nutrients that your body can absorb, such as vitamin K and K2, as well as B vitamins, biotin, folate, and even healthy fat acids like butyrate. These are in turn used by the body, including your intestinal tract, to further repair and strengthen itself. How amazing! As you can see, digestion is happening throughout our whole GI tract, from top to bottom. Meaning digestion is a team sport. And just like a good restaurant kitchen, it involves a star-studded team of players. Of course, as with any great team, every player has its own crucial role to serve, from the sous chef to the head chef and even the dishwashing crew, which also means if one of them breaks down, then all the others suffer. For example, if your gastric juices like hydrochloric acid or the enzyme pepsin are dropping the ball, your stomach might struggle to do the initial digestion work. And instead of giving your small intestine food it can easily work with, the stomach might end up releasing poorly digested food that the small intestine can't use easily. <laughs> and this of course would mean your small intestine the impatient head chef might struggle in turn. Not only might the small intestine find it difficult to serve up the micronutrients to your bloodstream, but it might also get damaged by all the large undigested food particles. In other words, just like 
a restaurant kitchen, every stage of your digestion is crucial. And if you wanna learn how to digest your food easier, then check out the other video we recorded on all the best ways to improve your digestion. In it, we talk about everything from meal timing to which foods pair best with each other. And you can find a link to that in the description below. And just before we finish this video, we wanted to do a quick shout out to two products we make here at Essential Stacks that can help you with your digestion. And these can be really helpful if you experience poor digestion or bloating and feel like your digestive system has turned into an episode of Kitchen Nightmares. And you wonder why I don't like your sauce. That is a dead lobster. And the freshest thing in this kitchen is that pigeon flying around. And he's lucky he's still alive. So as you can imagine, most of the time, you probably have a great team hard at work in your GI tract. But sometimes you might notice them struggling a bit and for example, you feel bloated. Well, that's when it can be smart to send in reinforcements. And the easiest way to do that is by taking HCL, pepsin, bile, and digestive enzymes in supplement form. It's like sending down extra sous chefs and mini Gordon Ramsay's into your gut to help with digestion. And if you wanna try these supplements, then check out these two products. Upgraded Betaine HCL is a really convenient formula which contains HCL, pepsin, bile, along with digestive bitters. So this will play the role of sous chef in your digestive tract as it works hard to prepare the food for your small intestine to digest. And Pure Enzymes is a broad spectrum formula of 18 different digestive enzymes. So this will play the role of head chef since it works really well during the second stage of digestion in your small intestine. This of course means your body can enjoy more of the delicious micronutrients in the food you enjoy. Links to both of these in the description below. So there we go. All the mysteries of what happens to our food between our fork and our bathroom finally explained. Now just promise me the next time you eat that you'll take a moment to marvel at just how amazing this digestive system is. And please do what you can to support it because while you're having a nice meal, chatting with your family, your digestive system is working overtime to turn your food into the energy your body can use and it loves you. And we should do what we can to love it back. Now we wanna hear from you. When it comes to digestion and avoiding bloating, what have you found helps you? Let everyone know by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed this video as part of our digestion series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.